I have been a huge fan of the Vivo V series. This is their mid-range lineup that focuses on photography and they keep on one upping their predecessors. But their latest device in this series takes it even further and definitely takes the crown for being the best mid-range camera smartphone this year. This is the phone for content creators and we'll talk about that later. From TechWiz, I'm George Kamau with the Vivo V27 unboxing and full review. Let's take it and go. Vivo V27 comes in a grey silver box that contains the 66 watt power brick, type C charging cable, transparent back case, SIM ejector tool, user guide and the phone itself that has a pre-applied screen protector. The V27 has the same camera setup as its pro sibling. We have a 50 megapixel selfie camera with autofocus. The back cameras include a 50 megapixel Sony IMX 766V primary lens with OIS, an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens and a 2 megapixel macro sensor. We also have an aura light setup on the camera island that creates soft lighting effect for low light portraits. It's worth noting that the primary main lens was co-developed by Vivo and Sony. The sensor offers a 59% increase in photosensitive area and 104% increase in single pixel size area. Video recording for both cameras is capped at 4K 30fps and 1080p 60fps. Portrait video is also supported for both cameras at 1080p 24fps. The camera app has multiple modes to play around with, including 24 vlog modes with templates for food, travel, night and sports. There are movie LUTs as well which are film tone templates that range from nostalgia, retro, classic, mute, autumn and more. Overall, the videos are really good. They are well stabilized thanks to hybrid stabilization on all three cameras, whether you shoot in daylight or at night. The videos come out smooth, detailed, with vivid colors, sharp, bright and clear with really good dynamic range and contrast. All these video features come in clutch for content creators. When it comes to photography, the V27 packs quite the punch both during the day and in knowledge scenarios and that includes selfies too. The blur and edge detection is really good on portrait shots. Shots taken even on the ultra wide mode come out well detailed, really sharp and contrasty with excellent dynamic range, well saturated colors and decent white balance. You love taking pictures with this phone. Low light photography is amazing with the Vivo V27 as well. Shots come out with excellent details, exposure, white balance, vivid colors and shadows. The phone screen also supports XDR photo mode which allows HDR photos to be displayed vividly and realistically but more on that ahead. V27 ships with the color changing panel made of fluorite AG glass. The back is UV light sensitive and changes from light blue to deep dark tilt for our magic blue unit. The phone is pretty light and slim which I've really loved and at 7.36 mm the V27 is Vivo's most thinnest phone. It uses glass for both front and back in a dual curve design and a frosted anti-glare finish which gives it a premium look and feel. The aspect ratio, the slimness and curved sides make the phone easy to handle. The front is magnificent as well. We have a 6.78 inch OLED slightly curved screen at 60 degrees with really slim bezels. The screen has a 1080 by 2400 pixel resolution with 120 hertz refresh rate, 1300 nits brightness, P3 wide color gamut and HDR10 plus support. It is wide vine L1 certified and you can binge watch shows and movies in high quality. We have a center punch hole that houses the 50 megapixel selfie camera. There's an earpiece at the top bezel. At the bottom of the screen, we have the under display fingerprint reader, which is fast for unlocking the phone. The right side has the power button and volume rockers. At the bottom, we have type C charging port, SIM slot, microphone and speaker grill. The top has a secondary microphone. The overall design design takes the phone way above other mid-range phones in the country. Vivo V27 ships with Android 13 and Fantacho S13 straight out of the box. Fantacho S comes with the neat customization features like the always on display and the useful nano player music widget. Running the phone is Dimensity 7200 paired with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. You also get 8GB virtual RAM. This phone excels at multitasking thanks to the fast processor and RAM combination plus the high refresh rate. Gaming is a breeze as you can play games even in the highest graphic settings and you will not experience lagging. Game boost mode also gives you a more immersive gaming experience. The phone keeps it cool literally thanks to the ultra large vapor chamber bionic cooling system. Overall, you are getting excellent performance with the Vivo V27. Vivo V27 comes powered by a 4600mAh power battery and it held up really well. You can go a full day of heavy multitasking with some charge left at night. Moderate use will sustain you for almost two days. You take less than an hour to charge it to 100%. 
percent. 15 minutes will juice it up to 50 percent. Vivo V27 not only nails it in the camera department, but you get a really bright, gorgeous, and fast display, premium stylish design, color changing back, fast charging, and solid battery life. The software and hardware combination give it excellent performance, even at performing its rivals. Overall, you are getting your money's worth with the Vivo V27, and I highly recommend getting yourself one, especially if you are a content creator thanks to the impressive camera performance. Vivo V27 goes for 53,999 Kenyan shillings at the official retail source countrywide and also online at e-commerce platforms. Till the next one.